I'm going to offer a history lesson explicating exactly how far our ethical standards for public officials has fallen in the last 30 years. Now, this is the Time Magazine cover of February 1993, 30 years ago. You may recognize this woman if you're my age. If you don't, don't worry, I'm going to fill you in. This is Zoe Baird. The incoming president, Bill Clinton, wanted a woman for attorney general. So he nominated Zoe Baird, but there were some problems. She had hired undocumented immigrants to serve as nannies, and she wasn't paying her Social Security. There were some financial issues. And that alone kiboshed her chances to serve as Attorney General. That alone was enough for the Senate to say, hey, we can't confirm her as Attorney General. And this was the first big lesson that President Clinton learned in office. You may be president, but the purpose of having accountability by way of the two houses is to ensure that you appoint political officials in your cabinet who are ethically in the clear. But now we're in 2024, and this wildly corrupt motherfucker still sits on the Supreme Court. If the Zoe Baird standard were applied to him, it would be like 25 Zoe Bairds of incrimination. And the Senate has done fuck all to impeach the wildly corrupt Supreme Court justices who are now sitting on the fucking bench. What is the fucking purpose of having checks and balances if you don't go back in time and see exactly what exacting standards we held up to Zoe Baird? The Democrats are the biggest fucking milk toasts in our political history because they have sat on the sidelines as these ethical standards have just vaporized so that they don't actually mean anything anymore. Here's a fucking thought. Maybe we might have better fucking people in power if we actually applied ethical standards. Stop whipping out on this shit, Democrats.